Welcome back, Adelina. Um, in this episode, we're going to touch upon something we do a lot of at Levitas,、okay. and that's hormone health. <laughs> so we do restorative hormones. We don't just treat endpoints. We pick up things early and repair the hormonal mechanisms. And people feel great. They have more energy. They sleep better. They function better. They're, they're less foggy.、Um, and I, the reason I wanted to bring this up is that something we've neglected or not even talked about. Is the oral hygiene and the impact of hormones and vice versa? So, Elin, what I'd like to know is the influence of hormones on oral hygiene, and the influence of oral hygiene on hormones, and how this all works. Because we do, we, as I said, we do these clinics, and I don't think any of our doctors talk about oral hygiene.、Okay. Should we be? Well, yes. Okay. And I'm so、uh, pleased that、uh, menopause. For example, is more mainstream, more, and I'm very grateful for people like Davina McCall and se- other celebrities that are more open、uh, about it. And、um, I'm also of that certain age that you know I have to consider、um, starting a hormone therapy, and、um, and that's because during menopause、uh, there's a decrease in certain hormones such as Estrogen, estrogen, and progesterone, progesterone.、Mm-hmm. in particular. And during menopause, you tend to、uh, have less salivary flow.、Um, you tend to develop dry, dry mouth as well, because there's less saliva in the mouth. There is less saliva to wash away bacteria, so that predisposes you more to gum disease. Yes. Yeah. Dry mouth also predisposes you to more decay because if there's no, there's、uh, the salivary buffing、um, is not there as much as if the, there was no issues with the salivary flow. And、um, so, yeah, so it's so important during this stage to ensure that、uh, women. Going through the menopause, are able to、uh, maintain good oral hygiene. Yeah. And、yeah. um, one interesting study shows that once a, a woman starts on the HRT treatment, things seems to improve. Wow. Because another thing is that、um, it decreases the bone density. Yes, I'm aware of that. Well, yes. When you think about it. Teeth are embedded into bone. bone, so if you lose bone around the, the teeth, then you you know it can lead to、um, tooth loss. Yes, this is huge, really, because what you're saying is that when you drop your estrogen levels, the mucosa in the mouth starts slipping, so the gums are less resilient, but also the bone starts thinning. So you're going to get problems, which we see elsewhere, like osteopenia or osteoporosis,、yeah. having an impact in the mouth. So easier to lose your teeth, I imagine.、Yes. Um, and we we certainly see patients for restorative hormones that have vaginal atrophy, for example, dryness,、mm-hmm. all the things you're describing in the mouth, dryness, pain, etc., which can be reversed、mm-hmm. by、uh, restorative hormones. So logically, it should work wherever there's mucosa.、Um, And I'm not sure how many people are aware of this,、mm-hmm. um, because again, we focus on the symptom they come in with, and this is a hidden disorder. It's something they don't realise till later, and of course, by then, the link is some years before.、Yes. So, what is the solution to this? What is the? How do we get round this problem? I mean, we can certainly help with restorative hormones to reverse it, but from the dental point of view or your point of view, what? What、I、could you do? Obviously, we have this、uh, levitas already, but I do feel that doctors should be referring people that are going through, as colloquially known as the change,、yeah. to seek、uh, dental help and specifically go and see a hygienist. Because、uh, as hygienists, we're able to pick up on those、uh, symptoms, and we can. Recommend certain things to help, like for example, in terms of、uh, dry mouth, could recommend could recommend some、uh, mouthwashes that 
increases the salivary flow, like mm. something like biotin. Um, earlier we talked about fluoride mouthwashes. Um, I should mention that some patients may not want to use fluoride. There's other stuff in the market which is quite exciting that is uh, made of hydroaxipatite, uh, hydro which is the same um, stuff that teeth are made of. So you're not just limited now to use a certain toothpaste. There's some, uh, some other things in the market that is addressing all yeah. these issues. Yeah. There's about getting the patients, well, getting information to the patients. Yes. So I do think that there should be, I'm not, I'm not talking about leverages because I mean, this is just the right environment that we're sharing all this information with each other. And in fact, we do refer patients back and forth. Yeah. And again, you know, I can't say enough. This is why I'm so excited to be working in yeah. a clinic such as this. Um, but I do believe that there's there should be more communication within. Uh, I, I think what you're saying is right, just because I run hormone clinics and I have to admit, I don't talk about oral hygiene, but certainly from mm. today I will. The other thing to say is um, things like, from our point of view, how we can help your patients and, and through our multidisciplinary team meetings is high dose vitamin D, calcium okay. supplements. We can uh, also do the testing for bone density. So I think there's a lot of benefit in being in a clinic where it's, we're working together. Mm. Um, and sometimes patients will present to you through the mouth, which will have hormone issues. They wouldn't have made the link because we haven't made the link. Mm. So that's really helpful to know that. Um, I mean, it's uh, interesting um, also when a patient uh, comes to to us with a sinus problem that comes from the mouth really so sinus problems come from the mouth yeah absolutely because it's salt to the bacteria yeah. accumulation that can rise there and if you think about how the air is circulating yeah so you yes. you're causing sinusitis through through bad oral hygiene absolutely so effectively we should be telling our anyone on restorative hormones, and remember it's not just about menopause, hormonal decline mm. starts, starts even a decade before, yes. to start seeing a hygienist and perhaps looking at restorative hormones even earlier, mm -hmm. uh, or at least testing for them. Great. I mean, we certainly have everything in place to help people, yeah. so I think you should put yeah. that in, yeah. Yeah. into play. Thank you, that's been very enlightening. Thank you very much. Thank you. Our next episode is on general chronic disease and oral hygiene.